you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top three players at each position. So I know I did the video where I did the top players at each position, but a lot of people are commenting that those players are too expensive, which is so, I, I understand that. I really did. That was kind of the issue I had even making that video is that I understood that that doesn't apply to like 80% of the muck community. Not everyone spies packs. Not everyone has that many coins to start. So instead of me doing the top three disposition, so I'll probably do like the highest priced one that you need to have. And if you can't afford him, I'll do like the second tier and then third tier being like a budget option. So in the case of running backs, you know, I always promote Mark Allen and then Phil Lindsay as the budget option, something like that somewhere where you can always afford it, but you have a good power, overpowered option. So I'm going to be basing it like that. Now, guys, first off, before we get into the video, thank you guys so much for all the recent support. We are now 6,100 something or maybe 6,200 subscribers. Not entirely sure. Check that after this video. But guys, the push to 10K is real. I have a crazy 10K subscriber special for you guys. So hopefully you guys, and even if you don't hate it, I mean, I understand. But if we can get to 10K by the end of this month, I have an awesome subscriber special for you guys that will take place with another YouTuber in a way that you probably haven't seen in a long time if you ever have even so smash the like button on this let's get 300 likes in this video let's get let's get a crazy amount of likes in this video guys everyone watching this video right now go sub down below you won't regret it you won't want to miss this 10k subscriber special comment down below if i miss any players because i always love the feedback i mean it helps a lot for future videos the more feedback you guys give me the more i can adjust for future videos the less mistakes i can make you know i'm still learning too obviously but guys, you're making this a reality. You're making me being a YouTuber a reality in general. So I really appreciate all the support as of late. So guys, if we can keep this momentum going, I greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into this video, guys. So you know how I like to run things right through the auction block. So we're going to start from quarterback. Now, the top three players aren't always going to be the top three rated players because obviously I have, I have different opinions than everyone. So starting off at quarterback, starting off with the most overpowered option, guys. It's pretty obvious if you guys don't already know who the most overpowered option at quarterback is. So, obviously, some of them are going to be a little obvious. Some won't be. It all depends. So, overpowered number one is going to be Pat Mahomes. He is coming down in price a little bit. He's at 370. He is the most overpowered option at quarterback. The reason being isn't just because he's Pat Mahomes. It's because of his abilities. He has Bazooka, Red Zone Deadeye, a few other things that I don't remember. But he, that is the reason why he's the most overpowered quarterback. But if you guys cannot afford him, let's go down to the other options. I feel like those are a little more important at this stage in the game. So next quarterback that I'd like to rock with is probably Tom Brady. Tom Brady for 130K. If you can wait for him to get a little cheaper, that'd be awesome too. Wait a little bit as the week progresses because they are going down in price right now. They're at a crazy price right now. Tom Brady, if I couldn't have Mahomes as the quarterback, I'd rock with. He's still a little bit on the more expensive side. So if we come down just a little bit, people can't exactly afford that. i probably rock next. I want to say with the Andrew Luck. So he's going for about 100K. If you can afford Brady, Andrew Luck is a very, very accurate passer with decent mobility. Mobility's kind of big right now because no one has mobility. So first is Mahomes, second is Luck, third is um, I mean second is Brady, third is Andrew Luck. I can't spend too much time per position because obviously there's gonna be a really long video if I do that. So I gotta kind of keep this going. So second, coming in at running back, Mark Sounds number one. You guys already know the deal. I don't think I have to go over him too much. Sorry, I forgot that he's on 91. So obviously you guys know how I feel about him. Mark Sounds the glitch. Because he can get evasive. Evasive is the best ability that this game's ever had in Madden history. So hopefully, I don't know how long he'll be the best running back. So don't go out and break the bank for him. But as of now, he's the fastest running back. He's one of the most strongest running. He's the strongest running back. There's so much about him that makes him overpowered. That freight train evasive makes him glitchy. Second running back on the list, pretty obvious. Todd Gurley, but he's even more expensive than the first. So right now, I would not recommend getting Todd Gurley. I'd recommend getting Mark Sound if you're going to do anything. But the long-term option would be Todd Gurley because he will get more upgrades progressively through the year than Mark Sound probably will get. Being that Mark Allen's like a legend that we haven't really seen in the game that consistently. Now, third on the list, you guys know he's a fan favorite of mine when it comes to this channel. Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay, 36K. If you can't afford the other two, he is an awesome replacement. He's almost as fast as Mark Allen. He comes with pre-built ability. He's like first one free. Homer, backfield uh, mismatch. There's so much to love about this uh, Philip Lindsay if you can't afford the others. Now, going into wide receiver. Let's cut on over. So, wide receiver, number one option, in my personal opinion. It's going to probably be Jerry Rice. Now, Jerry Rice, there's nothing to not like about this Jerry Rice. 87 speed, 86 jumping, max out catching. Like, every, there's everything to love about this Rice. Would I personally buy him? No. Would I recommend buying him? Not exactly. Only because he might not get an upgrade for a while. So, I'd recommend, guys, if you can't afford him, coming on down. Well, this exactly is also expensive, so take this with a grain of salt. Odell Beckham Jr., I think, is the second best wide receiver in the game. 
in my personal opinion, 260K, comes with pre-built abilities such as rack em up, streak specialist, double move elite, and cross specialist. Now, if you guys can't afford any of these three players, plain and simple, level up your level up your team and get that Tory Holt. In my opinion, Tory Holt is the best wide receiver in the game right now, but he's also free. So I didn't want to make him the best one because that seemed kind of obvious. But if you can't afford any of them, that's great. Just go level up your team, get to level 50, get Tory Holt to a 90, and you got like the best wide receiver in the game. Now, going over to tight end. See, tight end's a tricky one. So, in my personal opinion, it is not Zach Ertz, it is George Kittle. I think George Kittle's the best tight end in the game right now. Not including limited time, because I do not count Kellen Winslow because he's so overpriced because he's a limited time. So, if he wasn't limited time, he'd be the best one. Now, George Kittle, I think, is the best tight end in the game. He's fast, he can catch, he can run block. That's all I need. I need speed and run blocking me, because right now I run a lot, and a lot of people are kind of the meta right now. Now, second on the list might be powered up Kellen Winslow. A lot of people are telling me about that. Kellen Winslow powered up probably has really good stats. Haven't got to use him, but I, I got to put him up there because tight ends are kind of a weak crop right now. And then Zach Ertz is obviously the third or second tight end because his abilities alone make him very useful. Not a fan of him at his price point, but are his stats up there for the second or third best? Yes, they are. Now, I skipped fullback. Fullback's a preference position. I can say the Ravens fullback, but that's kind of obvious. The Ravens fullback are Sherman. Now, coming at left tackle, in my opinion, it's the heavyweight Joe Staley. It's not even close. I think heavyweight Joe Staley is the best left tackle. Obviously, going over line, I'm not going to go into it too in depth. I should tell you guys, Joe Staley is the best one. He can run and pass block. Now, when it comes to left guard, let's see. The left guard, I have Andrew Norwell. Would I prefer Would I prefer Ali Marpet? Probably. So, in this order, I'd probably go, first overall, I'd probably go Bruce Matthews. Bruce Matthews is the best left guard. Second, Ali Marpet. And third, powered up Andrew Norwell. Now, at center... Center, you can, you can go a few ways with this just because of overalls and because of what they have in the game right now. See, I personally wouldn't break the bank on the center. I personally like this one right here. I think this is the best one for how the game plays right now. I think that Jason Kelsey is the best one. I'd probably use, if I was you guys, Jason Kelsey. He, his pass blocking is okay, but his run blocking is really, really high, which is huge because I run a lot of inside zone right now. So for me, that's huge. Then I'd probably go Matt Predis because he has abilities and then Travis Frederick. Now, again, Center, you know, it's, it's center. I can't really go too much into that. Right guard's pretty obvious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going a little quicker on these linemen because it's gonna take forever if I don't. So as far as right guard goes, I'd probably go Larry Allen. I have him right now. He's a beast. His run blocking is absolutely insane. So he messes people up on inside zone. And then second, I mean, right guards, it's all preference. You prefer to pass or run. So I'm gonna kind of get over this pretty quickly. So Brandon Brooks is the next one. Stats are pretty good. I don't want to click on some because it's gonna take too long. And obviously Zach Martin, Zach Martin's overpriced. So if you're gonna go Zach Martin, you might switch by Zach, uh, Larry Allen at that point. Now right tackle, again, I'm just gonna skip over because it doesn't take really long because it's against line. Right tackle, Lane Johnson's the best one in my opinion. Now left end. Left end, in my opinion, is a position where it's very, it's very important this year. It's very, very important. So for me, I have Reggie White, but for number one for me, I think is the Marcus Lawrence. I just sold Reggie White. So I think the Marcus Lawrence is number one. Reggie White's stats are better, but the Marcus Lawrence's abilities make it, it throws him over the top because to get those abilities on reggie white make him way too expensive i got him not out of my superstar packs i'm very happy about that i go d law first then i go reggie white then i go straight hand and if you guys needed a budget options i'm sorry guys this year with the way left end is and the way pass rushing is you don't want to go budget when it comes to your ends now defensive tackle should i say alex we'll start right in because it's right there aaron donald's obviously the best one there's no debate aaron donald is a beast don't even overthink it if you can if you can afford it go for aaron donald now coming on down unique ngakwe Yannick Ngakwe. I think he's horrible. So just letting you guys know before you guys think that he's the second one. I don't think he's good at all. I'd rather go somewhere more like Trey Flowers with decent power move, decent play rec, decent tackle, and he's got abilities. So, and he has unstoppable force, under pressure, and unfakeable. So, I'd go Trey Flowers first, and then probably Jarrell Casey second, just because he also comes with abilities. It just makes more sense than spending all the money and breaking the bank. Now, defensive tackle, since already on here, I'll start with the third. I think Eddie Goldman or Michael Pierce are a great third. Those are kind of tied because Eddie Goldman does have abilities. And I don't really use defensive tackle too much, so I'd rather I'd rather go with the guy with abilities to make it a little simpler. I'm going to go all out on the defensive tackle. Next, Linville Joseph. He's a beast. Decent block shed. Good play rec. Really high strength. Pretty cheap, to be honest with you guys. I'd probably go him. And then Fletcher Cox, obviously. But John Randall's obviously the best one. So it all depends on what you guys are thinking with John, with Linville Joseph, Fletcher Cox, and Eddie Goldman. If you've, I'm not even going to make the upgrade to John Randall. I don't feel it's that necessary. Now, I left outside linebacker, Khalil Mack. There's really, there's no debate, but he's not the first. Khalil Mack is the best one, unless you play a lot of head-to-head, because -head, Von Miller is the best one. In this order, it'd be Von Miller, 
because Von Miller is overpowered. But long term, it's Khalil Mack. So keep that in mind that you might not want to sell your Khalil Mack anyways because you could use them long term. So it's going to go Von Miller, Khalil Mack. And then I don't know if this sounds fair to say that Von Miller basically would be the third. Because I mean, that's technically two Von Miller. So Von Miller 91 is the first, Khalil Mack is the second, and Von Miller basically is the third. And middle linebacker, best middle linebacker in the game. Hands down, Ryan Chazier. Book it. Ryan Chazier is the best middle linebacker in the game. I'm going to compare him to who I believe is the second best, which is. Is he 90? Yeah, he's a 90. So Von Miller, I mean, sorry. Ryan Chazier is number one in the game. Second would be Luke Keekley, but he's so expensive right now. These three right here. So it would be Ryan Chazier, Luke Keekley, and Bobby Wagner. Why I like Luke Keekley better than Bobby Wagner? They're very similar cards. He's only slightly better, but Luke Keekley is taller and has abilities. That alone puts him over the top because he's kind of like a slightly better Bobby Wagner. But then if you want Wagner because he's more of a long-term option, just like Keekley is, he's right there too. Those are the three right there in that order. If, if Luke Keekley wasn't so expensive, I'd obviously make the switch over. But to me, it just doesn't make sense with how expensive he is. Now for right outside linebacker, it is Lawrence Taylor, the greatest giant of all time. He's coming down in price a lot, so I'm very happy about that. He will be on the team very, very soon. I already have him powered up, so he's going to be a beast on the squad. Guys, Lawrence Taylor, if you can afford him. And you want to know who the second best right outside linebacker is? It's powered up Lawrence Taylor. If you can't afford this Lawrence Taylor, for about 100k, you can power him up to his 88. Look at those stats. So Lawrence Taylor's number one. Powered up Lawrence Taylor's number two. And if you guys want to see number three, in my opinion, it's Jadavion Clowney. But if you compare him to my powered up Lawrence Taylor, you can see why I think Lawrence Taylor is better. He beats him in everything besides play rec by a few. So guys, those are the three right there. Don't, don't, don't even, don't think about it. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. He's the best ones. Now, cornerback. Cornerback's a preference thing, obviously. But in my opinion, the number one cornerback in the game is Stephon Gilmore. I have him, guys. I would not have been top 100 without him. When this man gets a shutdown and I'm blitzing, you can't even... You can't even stop him. You can't you can't throw away from him. He's on everything. He might think you look like he has space, but you don't. And it's really good because when you're blitzing, people have to throw quickly. And when he has shutdown, he could jump anything. It's amazing to have him. Now coming in next is probably Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt is he's like the prototypical do-it-all jack of all trades. He's decently fast. He can jump. He can play wreck. He can play everything. He can press and he can hit power. And he has good hit power. Now the last one is gonna be Jalen Ramsey. Again, I have Ramsey powered up. I prefer him over Mel Blunt, but obviously stat-wise, it will be Mel Blunt. I like Ramsey because he's more of a long-term option. You will get another upgrade. Maybe maybe a team of the week. You know, some theme diamonds if they ever do current players with that afterwards. It all depends. Now, free safety. Free safety is a rough one right now. I'm not a fan of the, I'm not a fan of the free safety position, but if I had to pick, probably it'd have to be Earl Thomas because of his crazy zone. Although man is the meta right now, but I do sometimes leave my false safeties in zones all the time. So it's not, it's not the biggest of deals, but sad to say I'm not to go with Earl Thomas, so I don't think he's quite that good. Second, I'd probably go uh, Eric Weddle. I've been saying this. I'm not counting limited time Eddie Jackson. I know, but he's way too expensive. Don't even bother. Eric Weddle's going to be the second one. He's like a budget version of Eric, um, of what's called Earl Thomas. Decently fast, decent zone, decent hit power. It's for the price, obviously. That's like the budget option. And then Malik Hooker. He's fast. He has good zone. He can decently hit. He has play rec. And he comes with a built-in ability of shutdown, acrobat, and into a baller. I'd actually put Malik Hooker over Eric Weddle if you can afford it. It's not too much more money. It's a few K. So, obviously, I hope you guys can afford that if you can afford Eric Weddle. Now, strong safety. This is my favorite position in the game. Favorite position in the game right now. There's so many good options here. So, coming at number one is going to be Pat Tillman, Mutt Master. So, obviously, he's free. But I've seen the stats on those. I've seen the stats on that card. Crazy fast. Can hit like crazy. Can play rec. And he's free. So, if you guys can start working on your Mutt Master, I'd recommend doing that. But in the meantime, Ken Houston is the best safety in the game without him. He's it just is, he's faster than Mark Allen. He can hit like a beast. It's like a tank. Good zone. Good pursuit. Good excel. Good tackle. Don't overthink that one, obviously. Now, the last one, the budgety option is Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams is like a poor man's Ken Houston. 82 speed, 81 excel, 85 play rec, 86 power, 80 zone, and 83 pursuit. Again, another beast, the guy at that position. Now, I'm not going to be going over kicker and punter because kicker and punter doesn't really matter. I mean, I like Graham Gano. Remember that. Graham Gano and Treyway. Those are my kicker and punter duo every year because they're always budget options. Because Graham Gano always has good kick power for a low price. Whew, that was a mouthful. I had to speed through that because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes. Guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope this helped you guys a lot. If you did enjoy, comment down below if I missed anyone. Also, let's get this video to about 300 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated. You guys have been killing the like button lately anyways. And if you're new to the channel, sub down below. Let's get this channel to 10K by the, end of, by the beginning of September so we can get that 10K subscriber special for you. I'm aiming for it to be around September 6th, so just remember that. And if you guys haven't already, turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.